as the website is diydoctor.org.uk. Today we're going to be talking about using a uh, mixer and mixing some sand and cement. This particular mix is going to be eight very coarse and sharp sand to one cement and it's specifically for laying patio slabs. Um, obviously the equipment that we're going to use, and we've got a good old um, mixer here, this is called uh, a barrow mixer. It holds enough for a barrow which is normally 12 sand and one cement and that's about a barrow full. Um, so this is called a barrow mixer. Um, we've got uh, the, the wheelbarrow um, which if you look at our other projects um, you will see a project called loading a wheelbarrow um, and it's important you load a wheelbarrow as much to the front as you can over the tyre. It makes it so much easier to lift. Um, cement quite obviously, water and if we pan round you can see that we've, uh, we've had the sand delivered in a big ton bag. Okay, So everything's quite close to hand. We don't have to go too far for it, it's not a struggle. So organise your mixing area properly um, and as you'll be able to see if the cameraman comes and has a look in the mixer, we've already put the water in first. That's quite important that the water goes in first so that the sand and the cement we put in doesn't stick to the sides. It's being mixed as the mixer turns. So we're going to shut off now um, and Matt's going to come into shot and he will be doing some mixing for us and um, we'll have that on film as well. As you'll have seen from that uh, section of video where, where Matt was mixing, um, we put the sand in, um, half of the sand, half of the cement, half of the sand, and then the rest of the cement. It's important to remember that sand piles up on the shovel more efficiently than the cement does. The cement, because it's so loose, runs down the side. And to get a consistent mix, you need exactly the same proportions every time. So when you're putting the sand in, make sure that the amount of cement on your shovel is equal to the amount of sand on your shovel. It might mean you have to use an extra shovel full of cement to get the same consistency throughout the mixes that you're going to use. Um, a variation in consistency leads to uh, greater shrinkage and more cracking, so it's a good idea to use um, on, on site sometimes. On, for brickwork we certainly use um, gauging boxes or indeed buckets so that we instead of a shovel we use buckets of sand and buckets of cement so that we know the consistency is exactly the same eight full buckets to one full uh, bag uh, for one full bucket of cement or uh, in the case of sand and cement for, for brickwork probably five five sand one cement but a consistent amount all the way through 